Hello everyone, it's Trina here from There's a Card for That .ca, and today I'm going to be making the next in the 2018 Happy Holidays card series. Um, it's a little different. There's no coloring or anything like that. I had had this image of a card in my head and I was like, hmm, how was I going to do that? So I figured I would start playing around and when I decided I liked the paper, um, the soft blue and the soft pink for the snowflakes, I'm like, I gotta turn on my camera because this is gonna happen. Um, so I used Lawn Fawn's stitched snowflakes and the mini snowflake dies and just cut a bunch out. So I had a little bit issues die cutting, so I'm kind of glad I did the filming after the die cutting because the glitter paper that I had has like this plasticky kind of background like on the back side of the paper and it was very frustrating trying to get my dye through like I already used a shim because the paper was quite thin and then I had to like double up a piece of paper over top of it so I'm really hoping I didn't like mess up my die cutting machine because that would suck um but like back and forth a couple times and then I still had to like use an exacto knife and yeah it was it was unpleasant so once I got those all die cut, then I am going to create a side folding standard A2 size card base, um, so four and a quarter by five and a half, um, out of the same 110 pound white cardstock that I always use. It's the same stuff for Copa coloring and my layering and my card bases, everything like that. And it's just the super cheap Staples brand that I get from the store. It's like 250 sheets for 20 bucks and. It's so great. I use it for all the things. And now I've got all this other white card stock and I don't use it. So it's really not fulfilling its paper destiny. Um, so I had trimmed off about an inch and a half from what is going to be the front panel. And then I trimmed off just over, just under, just under a half an inch from that. And then I lined it back up and I put post-it tape inside the card sticky side up so that I could line up where that border was going to be because my plan here was going to have it see through and the snowflakes just cascading down looking super pretty and really sparkly it was totally worth the frustrations die cutting it um and that was going to hold those pieces together so I laid out all of my snowflakes and um, I started gluing them using um, Nuvo's liquid glue, which is super fantastic. It's got an excellent bond. Um, so far, the precision tip hasn't clogged. So if you haven't checked it out and you're in the market for a new liquid glue, I highly recommend this. It's a little bit pricier. It's permanent, so it's not repositionable after it dries like the Tombow glue but this one is excellent. I'll definitely be buying this again. So I'm trying to measure out because I don't want glue where there's no background paper. I'm trying to like kind of measure out, go back and forth, like where the glue is supposed to go. Little dabs here, little dabs there. And then I realized, unlike stamping where you work front to back when you're masking, when you're putting down like die pieces like this, you have to work back to front because that's how we build things. So once I had them all laid out and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Then I was like, oh crap, I've got to remove all of the ones in the front to put the ones in the back again. And because I do all of my filming on my phone, I um, didn't have a picture. So I was like, crud. So very frustrating. So once I got all of my pieces glued mostly where I wanted them, they were pretty close to what I had in mind, then I opened up the card and I removed the first piece of the post-it tape. Um, post-it tape, if you don't know, is just a low-tack giant roll of tape. It's about two inches wide or two and a half inches wide, and it's basically the same stickiness as a post-it note, um, so it works great for masks. Um, for over ink blending or I guess under ink blending, right? <laughs> um, and it peels off very nicely. If you are one of those people who use that um, press and seal stuff, this would have been an ideal time to do it. But I don't own any of that. And if I make this card again, it will be worth buying a roll because I had my snowflakes exactly where I wanted them. Um, so for the 
this part here. I'm just going and I'm trying to sort out exactly where the snowflakes overlap each other because gluing onto glitter paper is difficult. <laughs> It does work with liquid glue because then it kind of seeps in between the little because it's so textured um, so that's not too bad but it was about here that I realized Do you know what <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to have this completely see-through it's just not gonna work so I cut down a piece of white vellum and it's just regular vellum it's not anything special it's not like building weight or anything like that it's super floppy and I'm using two lengths of quarter inch score tape no not quarter inch eighth inch score tape because you will always see the adhesive through vellum which is not ideal but it's the inside of the card and they're handmade and the outside is super pretty <laughs> so once I had that in place then I was able to more securely tack down those snowflakes using the liquid glue and it's just little dots here and there. I didn't cover the back of them. Had I thought from the beginning that this was what was going to happen, that I was going to have to use the vellum or even a piece of acetate, I mean, I guess acetate would have worked, then it would have looked clear. Um, I probably would have used stick it when die cutting or I would have ran the smaller snowflakes through a sticker maker to make sure that they were tacked right down. But even then, in those spots where they overlap each other, dry adhesive is really hard to stick to glitter paper. It just doesn't like it. So I'm going to set up my greeting here on the for the front of the card. So in order for it to fit into my Misty, I needed to trim off the hangy bits of the snowflakes. Um, again, wasn't actually part of my original plan, because this is a card I'm actually going to give by hand. It's not gonna go in the mail, so I don't have to worry about it fitting in an envelope. And even if I did, then I would just put it in like a five by seven envelope because we all have those on hand from our five by seven days, right? Or maybe that's just me <laughs> because I hoard everything, it's so bad. <laughs> so this greeting is also from Lawn Fawn and I believe this is the Simply Winter Sentiments. I think I'll double check and then it'll be on the bottom if it's not. Sorry, <laughs> I don't have my stuff with me. Um, and I'm lining that up in the Misty and then I'm going to use the Gold Delicata ink. And this is a pigment ink. All of the ones in there are metallic colors, which is really great. Like if you haven't used the Delicata inks um, and you wanna try it, I recommend this sampler set. It's not super awesome for stamping with the Misty though, because you have to take the lid off of all four. Like it's not sectioned out, which is something then maybe they'll consider for something in the future if we're all like, hey, do this. Um, because it's a pigment ink, I decided I was going to heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. And again, that didn't occur to me until after I had done it, so I did not prep my card with the powder tool. Um, luckily for me, it's clear and I wasn't going to do any sponging or anything like that, so you can't see the little flakes that ended up getting melted to the card um had i done it in a different one like in a different color or like in a like a gold embossing powder as opposed to clear over gold ink um there would definitely have been specs i highly recommend prepping your your paper with a powder tool just to get rid of that static or anything else that the powder might stick to with clear not so much of a big deal over white cardstock it would be much more noticeable with um a colored cardstock. Um, then I looked at the card and I was like, you know what this needs? More sparkle. <laughs> because why wouldn't it, right? So I had had, um, when I did my original die cutting, I was like, die cut all the snowflakes. Um, so I used some of the smaller snowflakes just to add a little bit more so that they kind of cascaded over and around the, um, the greeting on the front left side right there where you can see it see when I do this I'm pointing at my screen and I'm using my hands because I'm very movement when I'm explaining things and you can never see it it's so funny so when there's like lulls in my voice it's because my hand is going over my mouth <laughs> so I just tack those down as well 
And that is going to be our card for today. Super simple, aside from the die cutting. Thank you all so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and a comment. I love hearing from everybody. My Facebook post and blog post will be down below. Bye.